Welcome to Dear Namaste. My name is Dear, and I want to send you magical dream come true, pure crystal light and love. Ooh. I hope everybody get my love. If you are interested in private reading, please check out the description box. I have a lot of options for you to choose from. The cheapest one is $3.99. That's a lot of options. There are also a phone call as well. If you want to um, ask questions live, you can do that too. Um, a lot of interesting and fun reading i want you to try um, because this is just a general reading so if you want to try like uh asking about a specific person please do try there but if for those of you who want a free reading giveaway that is personal to you you can win a competition as well i give one winner from youtube and one winner from instagram so if you want two chances of winning free reading giveaway please uh, go check out my instagram as well and see how you can win free reading giveaway i'm doing this to give back to you guys so you guys have something to looking forward to so i will announce um at the end of the month or sometime in the beginning of the month please do check it out i will announce the winner on the instagram first before we go into the reading we gonna do love yourself affirmation this to open up your heart chakra please repeat after me i am exactly where i need to be I release the need to judge myself and my body. Self-love comes to me with ease. My relationship with my body is one of perfect harmony. I trust my body's natural wisdom. I trust my gut. I feel at peace with my appearance. I feel completely comfortable with myself and accept myself with love, respect and appreciation. Thank you so much for doing that with me. Today's topic is very important. For those of you who don't know what's blocking your love energy or, you know, like if you, if maybe you have a childhood trauma about love or about relationship, then it will affect your love life in now um, or the next relationship that you will have. So if you want to clear the blockage like if you don't know what blockage do you have then this is the right video for you um pause the video for at least three minutes um to choose the power that calling your name the most is the power that um you should be focusing on and it's the power that you're supposed to listen to and unleash the blockage that have um, in your energy so you can find uh, a good love because like sometimes you find love all the time but it's not a good love for you because you still have that toxic energy in terms of love life in your um, childhood or it could be from past life as well but but this time I kind of like focusing on childhood so but I feel like some people will have the karma from past life as well if you believe in past life so um i mean for me like i use uh meditation to help me with the blockage as well so if you want me to do like guided meditation for unblock your childhood trauma you can let me know as well on the comments so i will do that for you but for today part number one is the yellow daisy part number two is purple daisy and part number three is pink daisy oopsie <laughs> okay so if you want uh, to know what's blocking you from your childhood um, 
what is blocking you. So if you want to know what's blocking you in your love life, uh, we're gonna read about it and see you on the other side. Bye. Okay, for part number one with yellow daisy, let's see what's blocking your energy, um, your childhood, and how is it affect you and your love life today okay first we have emerald angel light spiritual release ceremonial celebration spiritual and religious community um amitrine balance masculine and feminine energy then you have crystals. The energy of crystals support you and help you with present situation, heart chakra. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. And then heal away addiction. It's time to go of behavior that are blocking you from your heart desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. And then you have surrender to you need to always be right. And then surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decision. Don't be swayed by others' strong opinion about what to do. Make, mm, take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Surrender to the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everything everyone else happy and then you have the world for pentacle eight of sword the chariot And then you have choice, innocence, grace. Ooh, we have one more. Sorry, princess of sword. Okay, let's look at these energy first before we going into more details. Um. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tarot card first. The tarot card is the world, four pentacle, eight of sword, the chariot, and princess of sword. So your childhood um, situation that's still affecting your love life, I feel like you are actually, when you were young, when you were born, you are actually very innocent and very... You know, seeing the world in a positive light, like I feel like you are so dreamy. You, you have so much love for the world, but with this four of pentacle, with this four of pentacle is uh, suggesting me that some of you might bond from to to a family that uh, not so abundant in terms of financial or career or your parents work really hard or if they're not if they're like wealthy or they like have enough money they are very a saver person like they don't buy you toys or they always give you secondhand one or they don't they very what is it frugal with their money you know like they they tend to like put that upon you as well like they like when you break something you have to like pay for it or if you want money you have to like work really hard to get the money to 
could get what you want you know i mean it's really good to for parents to teach you that but the things that i feel like is um making you feel like money is really limited to you like that's why you got the emerald as well because emerald is um normally is mean uh, i mean it said ceremony and celebration but like normally emerald if you have emerald is mean like you are uh, abundance right you have a lot of money and stuff so i feel like this is a part of your childhood that kind of like affecting you a little bit um not so much it's it's kind of like making you more a little bit limited in term of manifestation and you know the partner or the the love that you manifest this person will be a little bit stingy with money like when you go to restaurant and stuff like they want to divide it in half or they don't want to share so much to you you know like in terms of money and stuff or financial or, or like just like even if they pay for you they they try like they love their stuff so much that it's kind of like causing problem to the relationship to the like it's like they don't have open heart open mind mentality like they don't share to you that easily like it doesn't even have to be money like it's kind of like also meaning the heart too because their heart their heart is blocked you know or maybe this this is this could be you but i have the sensing this will be the energy that you attract um, which is the love that you attract and then you have so, uh, eight of swords see the mother is like taking care of the child i feel like sometime like your parents also can be a little bit one of your parents maybe could be, could be your mom or could be your dad but in this picture is a mom um they can be too pampered to you like they probably like when you cough they probably oh don't go to school or like just a little like small fever temperature they take you to hospital or they're like taking care of you too well that um you become like sick easily and uh this can be opposite as well maybe you attract a partner that too too like too much um want to be with you all the time i want to take care of you like sometimes like i feel like you need freedom or it could be opposite like you could attract a partner who doesn't really care about you or um, i i can see it as like two energy about this like either your parents very pampered or they don't care about you at all so when if they are too pampered and then you get sick very easily or your your love your the person that you are attracting they get sick very easily you know and they need a lot of attention from you or um your parent parents doesn't or you're the adult that's taking care of you they don't really care about you when you get sick and stuff so you attract those lovers as well you attract like the people who are don't really care about you if you're sick they like it's like okay then i'll i won't see you today then but you know like a good romantic partner the good one not the negative one if you're sick they were like oh i'm gonna buy you soup i'm gonna go to your house and take care of you you know what i mean like but if it's like too much they'll be like oh i'm gonna sleep here <laughs> you know like so this is like unbalanced energy about what you like how you're growing up in, in your childhood and then you got the chariot and the princess of sword i feel like you attract you also like your childhood also like I, th I feel like some of you might move around all the time or you might be with uh the people who are taking care of you the adult they don't they they they, op they self obsess with their path and this future they don't like you know the path that they choose they don't take you as consideration and that's could like that's attract a lover in your life right now who doesn't really take your situation as the choice that they're gonna make next you know what i mean like for example if their work have to move to another city and you say like you don't want to move they would not take your consideration as they, they will not 
see your point of view at all or like for example they love to eat at this restaurant and you don't you don't like the the service there they don't care because they love the food they're gonna go anywhere if you don't go they go by themselves you know what i mean or you attract the lover who always looking for something else like when they when they settle with you they like they still look around like because you get this princess of you know sword she's like looking around everywhere like she she doesn't satisfy with where she is she wants to upgrade 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 all the time or your your partner might be traveling all the time and doesn't have time for you so in this energy okay i feel like you the in order for you to unblock this childhood um pattern to attract better love you have to surrender to these three things surrender to the always need to be right surrender to trust surrender to habit of people pleasing so i feel like because your partner the pattern of your track is do what, whatever they want so you tend to be like a people pleaser because your parents or your people who raising you they do whatever they want like when you don't want to do the same thing as them they get aggressive and they say you have to do what i say i raise you i give you money you know so you tend to have that habit of like people pleasing like you don't want to disagree with people so you need to surrender to that habit okay and also you have to surrender to trust like you have to like trust in the universe that they will bring good things for you if this person want to move away want to um do whatever they want and they if you don't do whatever they want they're gonna break up with you or they're not gonna leave you you have to trust that this person is not meant for you like you have to trust in the universe that they will bring you a good energy towards you let this person who doesn't care about you go okay and also surrender to always need to be right i feel like you like because you have a people pleaser energy so i feel like you feel like sometimes you like you like try to please your love right lover partner romantic partner and even though you know what is right for you inside your heart and you just feel sad about it because like like you probably go to that restaurant where it's not good service anyway because you want to please your partner but deep down inside you just feel uncomfortable and it will bottle up inside you it will burst someday and that is very bad energy as well sometimes when you keep in too much negative emotion inside you can have a bad problem to your health so i recommend it like if you wanted to make decision to go along with something that your lover want then you need, need to make peace with the thing that you make decision to you know what i mean like if you don't like this restaurant because of the service but because you already make decision to go there so you just have to like relax about it and whatever you know what i mean like don't bottle energy up inside yourself okay and you have like i feel like some of you either have really masculine energy or really feminine energy feminine energy is more like people pleasing right masculine energy is always want to be right so i feel like you need to balance it out like you have to balance the energy so it becomes like a flow of like energy and i feel like you when you do meditation you need to do a lot of heart chakra meditation like there's a lot of green energy um like in the crystal in the images in the angels so i feel like you need to heal a lot of high chakra energy and bring back that innocent feeling of this like looking at the world in a positive like a high vibration way again and you know um let go of the people who 
who doesn't care about you who just want to do whatever they want like they don't care about you so you need to like accept that this person is just my childhood pattern i need to let this kind of person go because in order for me to find the right person they're gonna treat me well so they're gonna take my consideration that not that's gonna make the choice that balance the couple in couple relationship then you need to let the person who always want to do whatever they want go, you know. And I also feel like you need to um, get back to like the fun energy that you have when you were young. Like I feel like some of you might think about career and money too much that it might affect um, the energy of the lover energy. But I feel like I feel like you're more it's, it's more of your partner like I feel like they are such a oh, this is like this person is such an asshole like I don't, I don't mean to like say it but this person seems to be very bossy and doesn't really give you a lot of princess quality or prince or like even equal energy like they just want to take 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 do whatever they want it's like you need to like follow them all the time and I feel like you need to let this energy go, you know? But I, I didn't mean that if you are in a couple relationship, you need to break up with them or anything. But I just feel like if you work on your heart chakra and have your boundaries, like you don't have to please them all the time. And sometimes you need to also put some money towards doing something fun for yourself relax or buy something that you really want once a month or once every two months or something to release the the scarcity energy or um opposite of abundance was that the 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 feeling of not enough the feeling of lack in order for you to receive something it could be that you can buy something. I don't want you to buy something for this person, the lover. I want you to buy. I want you to buy something and treat yourself well. Okay, that's the energy that I feel for you right now. I don't know whether like this question is very complicated. I feel like um I don't know whether if it doesn't if if it doesn't resonate with you, you can pick pick other power. But there's a strong energy of your partner is being really selfish, and this come from the childhood parenting that you were parent to um, or if this is about sickness okay in order for you to release the energy of feeling not well I feel like you, you really need to heal your heart because I feel like you need to believe that your body can heal your body can do anything and and you know you don't need medicine to keep you healthy. You can heal yourself. And for those of you who have people who are too much like like taking care all, all over you all the time, I feel like you need to release um, your heart chakra and set boundary around you and tell them what you want. Like you can't just let them do like they, you even though they are your lover you cannot let them invade your energy okay i feel that energy i don't know like <laughs> i'm just like <laughs> i feel like that's like a two group of people okay either you with like a really bossy person or you really want a like you are with like even people pleaser than you so in this energy i want you to balance set boundaries and like and know what you need to receive and not want to receive okay in order to, for you to attract better lover or in order for your lover to change their behavior to not be someone who is it is not balancing in the relationship and you don't have to suffer from it okay you need to let like let them know you cannot bottle the emotion inside you okay and for example if they have a red flag then just let them go if you just start talking to them and like this red flag came up you really need to release those person away because if you 
keep them those red flags is gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger and finally you have to break up with them anyway so i feel like when you release it is you are telling your universe that you don't want this kind of energy so you don't have to deal with like the universe can give you a different kind of energy for you okay i hope this help i don't know like it's kind of like because there's two energy of this reading so it's kind of like um not really that clear <laughs> if you want like uh, more detail on this situation then uh, let me know as well i'm just uh, trying out this question because i don't know like i feel like your childhood memory or childhood pattern in life when you look back and comparing what the person you attracted to like it's very it's a, it's a pattern and i want you to break that pattern and get into a light get into a right alignment so you can meet the right person that's treating you well okay i love you so so much i hope you like this reading if you're not you can pick other powers well if it doesn't resonate with you or if you don't understand what i'm saying i would like try to explain you in a comment more i love you so so much please take care be healthy if you're new to my channel please click like and subscribe and uh if you're already subscribed thank you so much for always support my channel i love you bye Okay, part number two with Purple Daisy. Let's see. What's your reading? Oopsie. Your card is Jade Wellness. A full ability increase support. Cow side, busy time and multitasking, crown chakra. Have you asked Angel to help you with this? Release. Surrender to resentment surrender to defensiveness surrender to your full power and then you have king of pentacle high priestess the devil Seven of Wands. Does this, and then you have transition, healing, compassion. Okay, guys, so definitely I feel like for your reading, there's a really powerful feminine and masculine energy in your life. Either your dad or your mom, they, I think like one of them is probably really religious and one of them is probably uh, really controlling, okay? Like they're very cold. Um... I get this like cool energy towards you. I get this like no emotion towards you. So you either probably attract person who don't show you emotion or show you love or show you touchiness or you might attract a person who show you too much like show to you too much and it's almost like fake okay um i feel like um for this reading you
might also be the one who do that you might show to like you might have like one nice that like right away after you went on a date if you like someone or you either close yourself out and don't show feelings to your lover partner which will affect your love life for sure for sure i also feel like because you got king of pentacles so i feel like your focus is on work like or your partner that you attract is focusing on work and they sometimes they don't have time for you sometimes they don't even like like if they express love to you it would be like gift or take you to like good restaurant like you know like superficial thing it's not real love or they could be like always 18 plus all the time and you don't you don't feel that they're opening up they just um use outside stuff to to it's kind of like you know like a five language of love some of you might get a lot of gift some of you might get a lot of touchy feely sexual energy but I feel like you don't want that you want true love you want emotion you want real love um, this could also be you it could be reverse like it could be you as well you, you, you want real love but you can't express your love well in order for you to release this childhood pattern you need to surrender to resentment surrender to defensiveness surrender your power your life is calling for you to step into your power rather than playing it small so I feel like you can't just not show your emotion anymore you need to release yourself and show the power of love that you have inside your heart because i feel like you have a lot of heart like see like but you're like protecting it you're protecting your heart and you don't want to release it and it's time for you to release that heart like you can't use money you can't use object you can't use sexual attention touchy feely to express your love anymore because in your core energy you need love like for example like i, I was born in a chinese family we don't show love so much we don't hug or kisses like you know the western um like people um you know like the the foreigner energy like the european or american like we don't get that touchy and i feel like you think that you don't want that but i feel like you want that you want you want so much for a person to open it open the heart for you and you know even though you found that person that opened a heart for you you might not open a heart for them or it can be vice versa like you want to opening up the, your heart for them so much because in childhood you don't have that but this person closing it down so in order for you to release that childhood pattern to get a better love you need to surrender the resentment that you have towards your parents maybe your parents is like what i say like they're very religious they don't want you to wear sexy clothes or so you always hated them so or like maybe they don't have time for you so you're always like hating that they never have time for you like release that resentment of your parents or the way they raise you and surrender your the god the war that you put it up surround you so you don't show the emotion of love to people you know and i feel like you need to heal that energy because i feel like your heart really need that you need to send a lot of compassion towards the parents or the people who raised you or even if 
is your teacher or someone that do that to you you need to release that energy you need to transform yourself to be a loving like a giving loving energy to people or uh, receiving love energy into your life because 3d stuff or less less emotion it's not gonna do it with you for you anymore because your destiny is not like that your destiny is to opening up your heart chakra and love okay and sending love to others sending this bright full energy of love to people like you can trust people they're not gonna judge you they are not gonna make you do the thing that you don't want to do you know and you have to trust uh to give love to other people because sometimes people don't deserve it but you just need to let it go and if they don't want to receive that then you can tell yourself that you already give that love to this person so there's nothing else you can do you know and release the energy like you have you need to have compassion and release that sometime our parents or the people who raise us they don't know how to do it you know and you can change that you can change that family pattern you can change that energy and make the next love or the new love become great for you by try to open up opening up your heart chakra or if you have been opening up your heart chakra a lot you need to if it's still blockage and you need to give that heart chakra to the people you need the most which is your parents or the people who raised you or even people who hurt you in the past like send them maybe it could be your ex like send them loving energy like pure heart chakra energy and this will make you attract people that's right for you because i feel like you need that hug you need that love and not in a hug in a sexual way as well in a loving way i feel like you need that and in order for you to do that it's for you to like release the resentment that people that did something bad to you or restrict you to do something or saying that you shouldn't do something you know i don't know like i have like, like this very tiger mom or tiger dad or very restricted parents or maybe restricted friend or restricted ex or i don't know like they just call to you or you cannot open up to them because you were raised that way you know what i mean like that's like this energy um yeah I, this is very short because i I've, like only feel this energy to, um that i feel so in order for you to attract good love to release this childhood pattern um is for you to have compassion to your people who raise you or people who hurt you and sending them love and you yourself have to open open up your heart chakra and like tear down those walls around your heart in order to receive love because if you can't receive love you only give 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 and you can't receive love then it's there's no balance in the relationship and it's have to be a balance in the relationship okay like you cannot only give you need to receive too okay i love you so so much i hope this reading will help be helpful for you if you um don't think it's resonated with you you can pick other part as well but i'll i'm probably gonna do this again this question again but in a other pattern energy i don't know like because i feel like there's so much to to take out from the pattern that we have in the, your childhood in order for us to find a good love you know what i mean like that energy okay i love you guys so so much i hope this helped and if you're new to my channel please click like and subscribe and ring a bell to know when i post a new video i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time bye okay part number three let's see what's your childhood life and is it still affecting your love life right now let's see you have rose cord love life so delight socialize and join in forgive and heal 
example, a lot of like pink energy, rose chord energy, singing and dancing. If you got, if you get nervous, focus on service. God box. Surrender to worry. Surrender to play. Surrender to prayer. And then you have Princess of Wand, Prince of Charis, Six of Pentacle, Three of Charis. Ace of Sword. And then you have Listening. You have Ancestor. And then you have Freedom. Okay guys, with this energy of your childhood, I feel like some of you might lost someone when you were young. Like a parents, sister, brother, someone in your family die before that time or just gone i mean even though this image is not about death but i feel the energy of you lost someone hmm and i also feel like there's an energy of you because maybe like your family lost someone and you have to entertain them all the time and you feel like you just need to be in the that's I don't know it's so hard with this this question because every pal have two scenario okay um the same as you as well is either when you lost someone in your in your child or maybe Maybe you might not lost someone, but there's some trauma that happening to your family that it changed you. Okay, there's a trauma. Maybe like business, your parents' business go off business, or maybe they lost a job, or um, they got sick, or or they uh, I don't know, like some trauma that happening to to your childhood. Uh, that causing you to either be super happy all the time or close yourself down and don't want to be happy anymore okay that's two scenario for this for those of you who who always pretend to be happy all the time or try to cheer people up and sometimes you feel very sad inside but you just can't express that you don't want to express that because when you have trauma when you were young you are the one who entertain your family so they don't get sad so they don't get upset you know so you keep that up until you were older so when you meet your love life energy you tend to attract people who have trauma and you need to heal them you need to support them in the they, they, they're probably like always moody all the time or you feel like you need to be the entertainer of the relationship and sometimes it exhausts you like you feel tired but you can't because that's, that's your job because you have been doing that since you were young maybe like your parents always have depression or migraines or maybe they have something that bipolar or something like you, you have to be the one who entertain your sister your brother you know what I mean like you have that role so you attract you tend to attract like so like soulmate or lover that have trauma as well and they are in a depressed mood okay so this is what for one group of you okay for another group of you because there's always trauma or some trauma that happened to you so you become adult too fast you don't play you don't you don't you try to be serious you not you not relax you you don't live your childhood you try to be the sister the big sister the big brother you're trying to keep your family together you're trying to be logical you're trying because maybe your parents is like like a artist or some kind they're always messy so you're the one who always cleaning up 
so you feel like you don't you can't play okay so this is the second group right you can't play so when you attract lover either you attract like like lover like your parents like always fun all the time always like don't care messy room or you attract super serious people like you and it's get too serious in a relationship and it break down because both of you are so rigid and doesn't want to have fun for those of you who attract people who are super fun always messy doesn't care doesn't think about future when you get together with them in the long run you feel ex like you feel tired because you have to always be adult you can't have fun with the with this lover because they always you you always to clean them up like tidy them up and it's so exhausting you know, okay so both of your group the spirit want you to for those of you who always restricted and wear out always adult all the time they want you to sing and have fun and surrender to worry like don't worry so much and surrender to play like play have fun and surrender to prayer like i feel like this prayer is the people who are have to be um fun 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 you know the group one fun 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 all the time and sometimes you need that energy to calm down and energy to uh be the one who doesn't have to always be happy all the time and i feel like the in order for you to get that calmness energy and let your partner or let your lover know that you are not always fun all the time is that for you to pray for your heart pray to give the support to your heart to use like the fun happy energy and put it back into your heart you know what i mean in 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 order to attract a better lover you don't have to put that happy energy outside all the time you can put it back inside you can have fun inside you don't you don't have to always when you see someone sad you don't have to always be the one who fun all the time like you can be still and use that energy instead of using on the peop other people use it back into your health into your heart and um stay calm and focus on everyday life like don't get to uh what is it uh don't don't feel bad when you can't heal someone or when you can't make someone happy you need to make yourself happy first if you feel sad inside and you feel like you have to pretend to be happy don't do that like don't pretend like come back to yourself you feel you feel tired come back to meditate put a lot of love into your heart put a lot of smiling energy that you always give to other people in back to your heart and then when you try to do that group one you will starting to attract people who are balanced and you don't have to always be the fun one all the time because sometimes i know it can be exhausting and you know um, sometimes you just need to be depressed sometimes you can't just always smiling i feel like i'm actually i am actually like that like i'm always like try to make people happy but sometimes i can have a very sad mood as well but when i'm with people i don't want them to feel like i need to be like i don't want to make them like i want to feel make them feel happy so in order for me to not pretend i come back to myself and maybe hibernate a little bit take some some time and space away from other people so i don't have to always feel like i have to smile when i'm actually very sad and if they love you for real they will understand you okay i hope you like this reading i hope this give you an insight to your childhood pattern but i feel like um everybody like i maybe i've like the, the group that I make is only three group. Maybe it's not enough. Because I think a lot of people have different kind of trauma. Maybe next time I would do like more pile. Because I feel like the energy is very separated in every pile that I have. So I hope I'm not 
making you confused. <laughs> I hope that you can use some of what I'm saying to re- like. I hope it's resonating with you, and you can use that to heal yourself. Okay. Uh, some of you need to go into nature and put your feet on the ground, like ground yourself, and use rose quartz to really, really heal your heart. Okay. I love you so much. If you are new to my channel, please click like and subscribe. It will help my channel a lot. Those of you who are already my subscriber thank you so much for being with me and always supporting me i love you guys so much if you're interested in private reading um because this one is very general that's why the reading is very general have different kind of group you want to know your um childhood pattern that blocking you from receiving the real love that you're supposed to get not attracting fake or person karmic energy then you can order a private reading with me so i can explain to you in more details because i want to do this reading because some of my clients ask this kind of question and i give them an answer and it really helped them a lot so that's why i want to give this back to the youtube channel as well for free but the thing is that it's very hard because there's different kind of angle of this energy that coming in um so yeah the solution maybe next time i will make more pile and uh uh so people can have more details or if you want um private reading right away then you can order my reading as well um i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time sending all the love bye Thank you.